Hey prospectors, it's Matt here from Payload Studios and today we're doing a tutorial on how to create modded blocks in Terratech. For full instructions, follow the links in the description. First things first, you'll need to set up your mod tools and create a mod for your blocks to go in. This is covered in the skins tutorial which you can find in the top right corner. Once you have a mod, we can create a block to go in it. To do this, select Edit Content. Then select Blocks from the Content Type selection, enter a block name and click Create. Click Edit next to the block, then fill in each of the data fields in this section. Now we need to create a physical prefab with the Create Physical Prefab button. Now we need to edit the physical prefab. To do this, just click Edit Physical Prefab to open the prefab in the Unity Scene view. The physical prefab represents what the block looks like, how it collides with the world, and where its attach points are. You will need to provide a mesh for your block, which can be exported in the .fbx format from your chosen 3D modelling software. In the inspector, you can assign your mesh to the block. This can be done by pressing a small circle by the mesh field or by dragging and dropping a mesh from the project window into the mesh slot. For this example, we're using the mesh from the sample block provided in the mod support tools. Textures will be automatically applied depending on the corporation you selected earlier. Now we're going to add colliders to our block. These are the shapes that tell the game how it collides with other blocks and the terrain. To add a collider, select Add Component in the Inspector window and search for Collider. Choose from Box Collider, Capsule Collider, Sphere Collider or Mesh Collider. Make sure you choose the shape that best fits your block design. We now need to add some filled cells and attach points to our block so that it can fit onto a tech. To do this, select Filled Cells from the Brush section. Use your mouse to click on the filled cell surface in the scene view. This will extend that surface outwards by one block. To remove filled cells, hold the control key and click. Keep tweaking until you have a set of cubes that best represents the space that your block occupies. Once your filled cells are all in place, select Attach Points in the Brush section. Click on a surface to add an attach point, represented by a pink sphere. You can click on a pink attach point sphere to remove it. These markers indicate where your block can be attached to other blocks, and are normally indicated by a small square pyramid on the block's mesh. When your block is ready, go back to the mod designer and edit it. At the bottom will be a tick or a cross that indicates whether there are any problems with the block. The preview icon is an auto-generated image for use in the inventory. You can force it to regenerate if you've changed something and it hasn't automatically updated. Once all verification errors are fixed, the block is ready to export and you can follow exactly the same export procedure as in the skins tutorial. So there you have it. Once you've exported your mod, you can use your new blocks in game. And that's all there is to it. What blocks are you going to create? Let us know in the comments, and until next time prospectors, thanks for watching.